everybody. Rochelle Plumstead here, Remax East Coast Elite. Thanks so much for joining me for this week's Moving Up Minute. We're going to continue on with part three to our three-part series on how a realtor can offer advice uh, when it comes to pricing your property. How do we come up with these numbers? So I'm going to switch to the screen that I've been on the last couple of weeks and go through a quick recap here. But as always, if you want to get the videos, you can go back on uh, this Facebook, you can go on my YouTube channel, you can go on my website because I've got all of the episodes there as well. So I'm going to go through this really quickly. So we had gone through the home price index, which gives us a price estimate that you've got a house on the hill, single family, single story bungalow. You bought it in July 2016 for 250 grand. It's now worth approximately 359. That's even gone up a couple grand since last week. But keep in mind, this is a benchmark. This is a very, very general way of pricing just to kind of give me a baseline because you'll see on the next page how much that can be very different. So we input that you've got a three bed, two bath bungalow on the hill with a garage worth a minimum $300,000 because unless you trashed it, we know it's worth at least that much. But look at the variance in price in here. We've got 351 all the way up to 506. So from here is when I do a little bit more research at home. We take a look at this little one here. So we, here, let me just move me up here. So we've got a nice little bungalow here. Motivated buyer means the buyer came in over the top, over asking price to win the offer and not get into a competing offer situation. So this one was listed at 329, sold for 351. We take a quick look through the photos. Again, I apologize going quickly here, trying to value your time. But you can see this is a nice clean, property. This is this is a great value, great little bungalow, awesome location on the hill. We figure, all right, well, that one sold for $351. Why the heck did this one sell for $506? So let's take a look. So again, we have another motivated buyer that came in over asking price because they didn't want to lose it. This one's certainly different looking than the other one. Very, very modern. And again, I would look through the pictures and say, well, okay, so there's some obvious things. You know, you've got a giant quarter lot. You've got a ton of upgrades. This is a very, very modern looking home. So you can see that these owners have put a lot of money into getting their property ready to sell or perhaps just for themselves. And they've done some great things to increase the value of the property. So this is where I would start. But again, look, guys, we're this is a big difference in pricing. So in order for me to give you an actual price on your property, I can't do it just by looking at this. I need to come and see your property. I need to see the square footage. And get a feel for how it's been taken care of. What have you done to increase the value? Perhaps there's some things that you should have done. Perhaps there's some things that, you know, are looking a little worn and torn that are going to decrease the value, but I can help you with those things. And if you're just wondering on your own what you can and can't do, go to Google. Google's a great resource. Take a look. There's a before and after kitchen. So there's probably a 350 kitchen and there's a 506 kitchen. What it, you just decide what it is that you want. If you need the 506, then you might need to do some upgrades. If you're happy with the, the 350, then just make it nice and clean and crisp so that somebody can move in. If you want some more information, feel free to visit my website anytime, movingup.ca. There's a ton of great resources here and, of course, the entire video library. So, guys, hopefully I didn't talk too quick. want to value your time, give you some quick insights. But I'm happy to explore this even further and meet with you in person uh, confidentially to give you some more insights. If you're moving up, moving over, or moving out. You've got questions. I've got answers. Wish you guys all a fantastic weekend. And we'll see you next week. Bye for now.